Okay, now I'm going to go in. I, I took that same purple that I had there. I filled an ink cup with white, and I just put two drops of that purple in and mixed it up. So I'm going to get kind of a lavender color here. And white is pretty opaque, so it'll cover up all this, some of that old stuff without a problem. It'll go right through that. So I'm just going to bring some of this lighter purple down in. Start just to find the edges of these things. And again, I'm leaving a little bit of room at the edge because I want to put a little bit of white highlight in it at the end of this thing. You can take this lighter color and kind of follow the shape of that, that flower down. And I realize you're not always going to be doing flowers, but just remember these little things I'm showing you, like pulling some of these lighter colors in, no matter what you're doing, whatever the subject is, you can, you can pull some of those colors in around the edges of the outlines to lighten things up. Because all your cover-ups aren't going to surely be this particular piece here. Just remember, keep, them, keep some light stuff. Always leave room for light colors, light highlights and everything. Just bring in this softer purple color, this lavender up around the edges. And the absolute edge of these I'm going to do in white. This way, you, by, by changing these colors like this, you're going to get a nice graduation of colors. You went from that blue to that darker purple back into a lighter color. And that's going to be pretty much it for that. I'll wipe this off and you can kind of see where we're at with that. You can see now that the, the flowers are almost all covered up, and that's pretty good. All the all the lines, the old lines from the old tattoo are gone, and now we'll put some white in. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of Vaseline over that, and uh, I do that again so it's easier to wipe this. White's a little chalky when you work with it, so it tends to smear up a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in and put the white highlights in the edge of this thing, and we're going to be almost there. This last color here, doing the white, this one would almost, this will define if you got any lines that look a little dark down towards where the old tattoo was. If you have to, again, just like I was doing with those that lighter purple and stuff, bring it in and around the outline, you know, on the light side of the tattoo where the light would be. And you can put those highlights in to, to define stuff. So you, you never want to leave anything that looks undefinable, that you can't tell, oh, what's that line from? You know, is that part of this or is it part of that? Everything should be you know, individually, you should be able to look at everything as an individual piece and see what it was. You know, it's a petal of the flower, it's a part of the leaf, no matter what you're covering up. I'll do that down on this, this flower here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because where this flower comes in, it gets a little dark down in here, you just take that white, and you just pull that in and around the edge of that, these petals here. And you'll see what I've done here, what, that, what that'll look like. It'll make it really stand out. You can see now that you can start seeing where this flower comes up into this one. Even though they're darker on the bottom, there's still gonna be some light hitting it somewhere. Follow that white in all along the edge. We're just about finished here with this whole piece. Just remember, I've been tattooing for a while. I tattoo a little bit faster than you may be going. Don't worry about how fast you're going. Just make sure you're putting it nice and even. You're not overworking the skin. You're keeping the color nice and even. And like I said, I'm going to remind you again, you can always go back after it heals. I guarantee all the work we do in our shops, and we tell people, don't worry about it. If something pops through, we're going to go back over it. Normally, you don't get that. If you, if you take your time and you put the color in right, you normally don't ever have to go back and do any touch-up work on these. 
We're going to wipe it off and give you a good look at what it looks like. And there's the new tattoo.